Welcome to this full body workout with dumbbells. We're going to do 3 sets per exercise lasting 40 seconds each with 20 seconds rest in between. For this workout we're going to need two different weights. A heavy one for most hypertrophy exercises and a lighter one for the strength endurance exercises. We will start with bench pressing. We lie down on our back and squeeze the shoulder blades together. We explosively push the weights up, the elbows stay next to the body and don't face outwards. We don't hold with extended arms, we immediately bend the arms again and slowly bring the weights back down. In the second set we are doing close grip bench pressing. The weights touch and we push the weights up in the air. Now we press the weights together as tight as possible during the whole exercise. Feel the pressure in the chest. We are doing as many repetitions as possible. You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you dig any deeper now? I gave you all I own Put you on this golden throne But I'm a little stronger now The next exercise is called flies. We extend the arms, but not entirely, and we laterally bring the weights towards the ground. Slightly above the ground, we hold for one second and we push the weights back up. In the second set we hold the weights slightly above the ground.
In the third set, we are doing small movements up and down as fast as possible. You're probably gonna need the lighter weight. The next exercise targets the shoulder. We stand up, the wrist is in a neutral position and we press the weights in the air and slowly move them back down. In the second set, we turn the wrist 45 degrees, the palms face forward. Now we take one dumbbell and press it up with both hands as fast as possible. The next exercise is called front raises. We raise our arms, the shoulder blades are squeezed together, we hold for one second and slowly move the arms back down.
In the second set we take one dumbbell and hold it in a 90 degrees angle for 40 seconds. In the last set we move the weights up and down as fast as possible. In the next exercise we put the weights behind our head and push the weights up. The elbows should stay in a locked position. We are doing the exercise in a controlled way. Now we simply hold the weights behind our head. We slightly move the weights up and hold in this position now. In the last set we try to do as many repetitions as possible.
For the next exercise, we bend forward with a straight back. We raise our arms and rotate our wrist so that the thumbs face backwards. In the last set, we move the arms backwards in a 45 degrees angle to the body. In the next exercise we lie down on our stomach, we extend the arms, move them back and lift our chest at the same time. In the second set, we simply raise our arms and legs and hold for one or two seconds.
In the last set we're doing small movements up and down with opposite limbs. We squeeze the shoulder blades together and we are now doing bicep curls. We exhale during the upward movement, the elbows stay in one position and we don't move the upper body. In the first set the wrist is in a horizontal position. In the second set, we turn the wrist 45 degrees inwards. We turn the wrist again 45 degrees and we are doing hammer curls. Now we turn the wrist 90 degrees inwards during the upward movement and back again during the downward movement.
this set we simply hold the weights. We'll start with a 45 degrees angle between fore and upper arm. After a few seconds we move the weights down to a 90 degrees angle and at the end we hold at 135 degrees. In the last set we again are doing biceps curls with the rotation, but now as fast as possible. Now we'll do 6 exercises for the abs lasting 30 seconds each without rest in between. We will start with seated knee tucks.
The first leg exercise will be Bulgarian split squats. Grab a chair or something similar and place the right foot on it. We take the weights and we slowly go down, hold for one second and explosively push ourselves up again. In the second set we hold below. If you want you can do small movements up and down. In the last set we put the weights aside and we try to do as many repetitions as possible. Now we change sides.
The next exercise will be squats. We take one dumbbell, go down and push ourselves up to the tiptoes. We hold this position for one or two seconds and we go down again. Now we hold the deep squat position. Again, if you want you can do small movements up and down. In the last set we are doing squats again, but now as fast as possible. In the next exercise we lie down on our back. We put one dumbbell on our hip and lift our hip. We hold for one or two seconds. Now the hip stays elevated and we alternately extend our legs.
In the last set the legs stay on the ground and we lift our hip again, but now we try to do as many repetitions as possible. The last exercises target the calves. Grab a big book or something similar and stand on it with the right foot. We take either one or both dumbbells and explosively push ourselves up and slowly move down again. In the second set, we turn the foot inwards. In the third set we turn the foot outwards. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Now we change sides.
In the last exercise we'll use both legs and we try to do as many repetitions as possible. You probably won't need weights. We start with parallel feet. In the second set we turn the feet outwards, in the last set we turn them inwards. <laughs> 